This is problem 5b on the sample test problems for test number three. A cone-shaped icicle is dripping from the roof. The radius of the icicle is decreasing at a rate of 0.2 centimeters per hour, while the length is increasing at a rate of 0.8 centimeters per hour. If the icicle is currently 4 centimeters in radius and 20 centimeters long, is the volume of the icicle increasing or decreasing, and at what rate? Hint, the volume of a cone of radius r and height h is v equals one-third pi r squared h. So first thing I'm going to do is draw a picture. So we want a cone, and it's hanging from the ceiling, so it should look something like that. Note the 3D realism. And then we're going to label this picture with some variables. So it sure feels like the cone has a radius, uh, and the radius is, by definition, the radius at the top of the cone. And then it's got, well, in the problem it says length, but in the formula it says height. So why don't we just go ahead and make that change right now. Uh, let's see, does it appear anywhere else? So the length in both cases is the height. And so I'll go ahead and call from here to here h for height. And let's go ahead and start um, writing down uh, equations for all the given information. So it says the radius is decreasing at 0.2 centimeters per hour. So symbolically, that's a derivative. The RDT, 0.2 centimeters per hour, except it is decreasing, so it's negative. And then it says the length, or the height, is changing. So that's another derivative, the HDT equals, and this one is a 0 0.8 centimeters per hour. And in this case, it's positive because the height is increasing. And so those things are given in the problem. And then after we take a derivative of some equation, we're going to then get to kind of pause and freeze things at this particular moment in time when the icicle is 4 centimeters in radius, when r is 4, and 20 centimeters long, that's the h. We're trying to find something. We're trying to find something about the volume and the rate. So symbolically, dvdt. That's what we're after. All right, so we need an equation for volume if we're trying to find dv dt, and the volume equation is given up at the top, so let's take that equation. I'll just copy it down here. v equals one-third pi r squared h, and we're going to take that equation and take a derivative of both sides with respect to t. So let me actually rewrite the left-hand side here just to give me a little more space. Parentheses are on both sides and d dt, derivative of both sides with respect to t. So let's see what we get. Left hand side is easy, that's just dv dt. Right hand side is a product rule. R is something that's changing and so is h. So I've got two variables multiplied together, definitely a product rule. The one-third and the pi are constant multiples, and actually what I like to do is pull them out. So I'm going to do the product rule just on the r squared h. And then the one-third pi will hit everything at the end. So the derivative of r squared times h, again using product rule, first times derivative of the second, r squared times, what's the derivative of h? It feels like it's just 1, and it is 1, times the h dt. The underlying variable is t. The independent variable is t. Continuing the product rule, plus second times derivative of the first. The derivative of r squared is 2r. But again, the chain rule comes in. r is not your independent variable, it's t. So stick a dr dt at the end of that one. And I think all the hard work is done. This equation has a lot of things that are about to become replaced with numbers. So let's see if we can keep everything on the screen here. So dv dt, that's what we're after equals one third pi. Instead of r, it's given. It's four. Four squared times instead of dhdt, 0 0.8 plus instead of h, that's given as 20 times 2r, 2 times 4 times instead of dr dt, negative 0 0.2. And this is now just an arithmetic question. So our job is to find what that whole thing is equal to very carefully. I'll type it into the calculator. I think we can do this in one fell swoop. One third pi times parentheses. Okay, four squared 
times 0 0.8 plus 20 times 2 times 4 times negative 0 0.2. So if I've typed that correctly, we'll get the right answer at the end. About negative 20.106. So that's what we'll write. The VDT is roughly negative 20.106. The fact that it's negative means something is happening with the volume. That volume is decreasing. And uh, I suppose it's a word problem, so we should put some units in here. Let's go back up. The units here were centimeters and centimeters per hour. So I guess dvdt is going to be a, so again, it's a volume thing. So this is going to be cubic centimeters, and then time on the bottom is hours. So about negative 20 cubic centimeters per hour.